Waiters and waitresses of Reddit, what's the most convoluted order you've ever taken? I always feel bad for the waitress when out to dinner with my mother-in-law, I swear. Just ordering a water with ice ends up being difficult. Oh, your omelettes have three eggs? Can you make mine with one and a half? No yolk, just replace the 1.5 yolks with some extra egg white. I swear to freaking god I had a woman ask for just egg whites then insist on getting a discount because she wasn't eating the whole egg. Not necessarily a convoluted order but I think this still fits here. I work at a from scratch Italian restaurant. Had a guy come in with his wife and sit at the bar on a busy Saturday night. He informed me he was following the TB12 diet from Tom Brady's new diet and exercise book and had very strict dietary restrictions because of this. He sent me back and forth to the kitchen no less than 7 times to verify with the chef that his dinner order would have no iodized salt, sugar, olive oil, gluten peppers, or tomatoes. He ended up with a plain piece of fish and some vegetables. We were getting slammed, but I still tried to keep my patience and accommodate the guy the best I could, even though doing so was putting me in the weeds. After dinner I ask if they would like anything else and don't you know this guy orders himself a bread pudding, very much filled with forbidden gluten and sugar, and eats the whole thing. He just goes well. I mean, you have to allow yourself a treat now and then. I died a little more inside. Yeah he was off that diet by the end of the week guaranteed. Some confusion arose once because a customer wanted a plain cheeseburger. Brought a cheeseburger with no toppings or condiments. She was very upset. Turns out she wanted a hamburger. Uh, now I know why when I've ordered plain cheeseburgers in the last few years, I'm now asked if I want cheese. I previously worked at a wing shop. Guy calls and asks for 24 mile traditional wings. He then proceeds to ask for them to be fried twice. No big deal. That's pretty common. He also wants them covered in Mexican shredded cheese. Put in the microwave for 30 seconds. Drizzled with mayonnaise. And wants his side of fries placed on the wings rather than in a separate container. Finally, he requested to have pickle juice squeezed lightly across the top of everything. Obviously all the waiters, cooks, and waitresses thought this was disgusting, but we had never smelled something so amazing come from the kitchen in our lives. Did not taste as pleasant as it smelled. Edit, forgot the best part. He demanded the wings be in a pool of mild sauce which was just short of overflowing the container. I'm smelling the marijuana through this post. Coffee frappuccino, half and half instead of milk. Coffee filled up to 2 stroke fifths of the cup before blending. Light ice. 2 shots espresso, shake ingredients then blend it 3 times. Use half the bottle of caramel drizzle on the sides of the cup before pouring the drink in, extra extra whipped cream, then add more caramel drizzle to the top. This woman came in every day, watched you make her drink, and would force you to remake it over and over until she was satisfied. She once returned the drink for not having enough caramel drizzle. As I was remaking it, the cap blew off of the drizzle bottle and nearly the entire contents oozed into the cup. It being frappuccino happy hour, I said frick it and gave it to her like that. She said it was the best she's ever tasted. The entire store absolutely loathed frappuccinus. I'll just throw mine on yours since it's another Starbucks customer. Venti, heavy whipping cream, 7 pumps white mocha, 6 pumps caramel flavor, 5 shots, 4 splendor, 3 sweet and low, extra 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 caramel sauce drizzle, like 1 stroke 4 plus of a bottle. She came in every single morning for this abomination, but she tipped really really well so hey whatever. I serve food at a country club so I deal entirely with people that have more wealth than I'll probably ever had. A lot of these people are really nice and are actually friendly, however many are also very snobby, high maintenance, and just rude. One night I had a table. It was two couples on a double date and both couple were less than friendly. One woman ordered a salmon. I can't remember the rest because this one woman was the bane of my existence. I served them entrees and let them eat for a while before I do the typical how's everyone doing 9 times out of 10 everyone just says everything is fine and just want me to leave so they can eat. Not this lady. She calls me over and tells me she didn't think I gave her salmon. Looking at her plate I can see the fish is pink and is very very clearly salmon. I've served the salmon hundreds of times. She insists I go ask the kitchen what fish it was. Of course it's salmon. Which I return and tell her politely that it is indeed salmon. 
She gets angry and tells me how it doesn't taste like any salmon she ever had and that she had had salmon many times and that what I served her wasn't salmon. After getting more and more angry about not having salmon she looks me dead in the eyes and says this tastes like turtle I honestly didn't know how to react so I just asked if she was sure and she says yes. I actually like it, but it isn't salmon. I'm still just blown away by this woman. She got so angry with me about this mix up. We don't serve turtle. I don't know anywhere that does. And she liked it. I don't understand these people's lives. This tastes like turtle. I love this. I'm no waiter but I do work the food line at my restaurant. The weirdest thing I've seen was a lettuce wrap taco with only lettuce in it. A lettuce wrap is a taco shell that's made of lettuce. So a head of lettuce. I once had parents order their kid a plate piled high with raw sliced red onion and a side of ranch dressing. She happily ate the entire thing. Not convoluted but definitely one of the weirder things I've served. My 2 year old ate a plate of caramelized onions the other day when I made steak and onions for dinner. Kids are weird but sometimes it's like, well at least you're going to eat something. Not a waiter, but this guy once ordered spaghetti and meatballs at a restaurant I was a cook for, except he wanted french fries instead of spaghetti noodles. Thank you, was wondering what to make tonight. A half rack of ribs, no sauce, well done. Microwaved after taking it off the grill for 5 minutes. 8 sides of Thousand Island dressing to dip it in. Broccoli. No butter. Triple steamed. A sweet potato with 4 sides of sour cream. A water with no ice and then 2 cups of ice. Then 15 minutes later decided he wanted another half rack of ribs the same way. This was a year ago but I will never forget because he snapped at me a ton of times while I was talking to other customers. Then he had the nerve to complain to my manager because his rolls came late. But they had just been popped into the oven and were baking when he ordered them. Frick that guy. That's like. 8000 islands. I'm not a waiter or anything but I had a friend who would always order a glass of water with no ice. With some extra lemon slices. Then he'd start making free lemonade at the table. Sometimes there weren't sugar packets at the table already. And I'd die inside when he asked the waiter for sugar packets. By the time we got our food. His warm lemonade was ready. At which point he'd ask for a glass of ice. Should be policy to charge those people for a lemonade. I once had a woman order her eggs. Fried hard scrambled hard. And when I asked if she wanted her eggs fried or scrambled, as they are two completely different ways of making eggs, she had no idea what I was talking about and kept repeating. Fried hard scrambled hard. It took some pressing from both myself and her group to figure out what she wanted. I believe it was scrambled hard. She kept saying that she has just always ordered fried hard scrambled hard and didn't understand our confusion. Man egg fried hard scrambled door. I brought my own tea bag. Can I just have some hot water please? 5 minutes later. Can I have a lemon wedge please? 2 minutes later. Can I have some honey? Not necessarily convoluted but worked in an Indian restaurant. In the UK with a kitchen staff of all Indian people and lots of people would come in and pretty much detail how exactly they wanted their curry cooked. Like this is not a Jalfrezi upon being presented with their dish and then explaining to the manager how it should be cooked. I feel like I should point out these were obviously non-Indian folks. I had a guy order a chicken korma, but make it spicy. After much discussion the chef agreed to put some chili into it knowing well that the whole dish would be weird. I actually asked for spicy chicken korma once and the waitress came back to tell me the chef said it would destroy the flavor of the dish. I took the chef at his word and it was delicious. Dude in front of me in line ordered iced coffee heated up in the microwave. Barista replies you mean hot coffee to which he replies um, I don't know. When I'm at home I make my coffee the night before and put it in the fridge and then microwave it the next morning. That's almost endearing. I hope the barista said something like well then prepare to have your mind blown and your coffee experience taken to the next level and then poured him some fresh, hot coffee. Philly cheesesteak sandwich, no cheese, no peppers, no condiments, no bread, no side of fries. She wanted to pay $16 for shredded beef with onions. That's a person on hardcore Kato that used to enjoy that sandwich and wants to taste some semblance of it. I know that pain. I've lived it. My daughter was just old enough to go through a buffet alone. 
She wanted a slice of roast beef and heard people ahead of her ask for medium. She thought, I'm smaller than them, so I don't need a big piece. The guy slicing off portions asked her how she wanted her beef, so she said, small. He just silently gave her a small piece of medium done roast beef. AWW, thanks for the gold. Your daughter is awesome, and so is the roast beef guy. Good on both of them. Not a waiter. Eating at an Indian restaurant, I overheard a woman ordering nearby who wanted a curry but steamed veggies, no oil, no salt, no rice, curry sauce on the side. I have no idea what the kitchen actually made for her. I think she doesn't go often to restaurants. Not so much convoluted as stupid. Our wings were breaded and he didn't seem to read that part on the menu. He sent them back because of the extra carbs and ordered a burger no bun, with a side of fries. I didn't really mind this order, but it was very odd and multiple managers came to ask me about it after I put it in and laughed when I showed them. I do all of the Grubhub orders at a restaurant and somebody simply ordered 4 lemonades. That's it. For $2.50 each plus the delivery fee. And the to-go drinks aren't very big. And it's just your run of the mill lemonade. I really wish I got to deliver the drinks to the person to see what was up with that. Responsible alcoholic out of mixers is my guess. A kid asked me for a cheeseburger, but cheese on only half the burger, so a half hamburger, half cheeseburger. The parents were a little embarrassed and said I didn't have to humor him, but I like the cut of his jib. This kid knew what he wanted. I walked the order back to the cook, explained the situation, and the whole kitchen got on board. I used to work at Steak and Shake and my favorite customer ever was the kid who ordered a Krabby Patty and his parents who were silently pleading with me to just go with it. I did and the kid lit up when he got his order it was adorable. I once had an old man send back a plate of hash browns twice because he wanted them burnt to a crisp, like completely blackened. I've done that more than a few times, difference is when I get them there or send them back only to be returned even more or I'm not a server, but when I was a kid, my mom would often do crazy things like go through the drive through at McDonald's and ask the people inside to open a can of tuna for her. She was on a weird self-imposed diet. Then when they opened the can of tuna, she would complain that they didn't drain the water correctly. I was just a kid, but I would basically die from embarrassment in the back seat. People that go into length about how they can absolutely have no gluten then be when there are no croutons on their salad. This doesn't exactly fit, but it was kind of mind-boggling so I had to share. I came into a shift where the previous server already had a full section. No problem, you just explain to the guest that you're taking over and to let you know if they need anything. Everything is great I have a two top mom and daughter. The previous server had already taken the order and put it in so I was basically there to finish up the table. Their meals are good. They're enjoying everything etc. Time to give her the check and she goes, for future reference, if someone tells you they're low car buying, you don't give them dates and craisins and their salad. WTF. The menu is literally right there and it says the salad comes with those things. Granted I didn't take the order and still apologize to her, but Jesus, if you're following a diet, it's your responsibility to be mindful for what you put into your body. Thanks hun. For future reference, it tells you on the menu what ingredients are in each meal, and we can take things out if you ask. We called it the quarry special, because this guy would come in every week and get the same exact thing. Large yum and greens vegan sub avocado, add cabbage and carrots one stroke two sauce sub nori, add tempeh, no chips sub crispy noodles, on a plate, half rice sub greens. He was a super nice guy though, so nobody really minded that he had the order from heck. I like what you said at the end. That's all I am asking for is a little decency. It seems like having a order from heck and being an butthole go hand in hand. It's so easy to just be decent. Used to work as a waiter over the summer. Second day on the job. A group of 20 arrived who'd all pre-ordered their meals a month ago for the booking, and no one could remember what they ordered. By some kind of cosmic punishment, I was the only waiter they sent to the group. Used to work in a cafe where you could make your own sandwich. This old man always asked for a peanut butter, lettuce and beetroot sandwich. Grossed all of us out but he seemed to love it. My dad, who's from the southern US, 
would break cornbread up in a bowl, cover with cold whole milk, add thick tomato slices, fat chunks of yellow onion, and garnish with a dollop of creamy peanut butter. I just have a mini pizza from the freezer. The order itself wasn't particularly difficult, but this lady wanted weak tea. Like, hot water that has a tea bag put in for a very short amount of time. Simple enough, we are on the same page, right? Problem was, she didn't want me to bring her the hot water and the tea bag. She wanted me to make it for her and do so perfectly. It took like 6 or 7 tries before she was like now that is some good weak tea. The guy she was eating with was covering his face in shame of being seen with this woman. I wanted to get as far away from her as possible. Since her drink order was so annoying, I was afraid of what her food order would be like. Thankfully, she didn't ask for anything special in that department, but I was half expecting to have to heat her food to a very specific temperature or something along those lines. Not gonna lie, I'd be tipping some of it out and adding more water until she said it was alright. No sense wasting perfectly good tea bags on that kind of nonsense. A man with a hangover swore blind that the best cure for said hangover was raw steak. So he ordered raw steak and I served him a raw steak and then watched on as he ate that raw steak like a famished velociraptor rex. Cook a large flank steak pan fried in salted butter, eat that, put on a pair of wet socks and go to sleep. Worked at a steakhouse very similar to Texas Roadhouse. I had someone order a salad without lettuce. They just wanted a plate with all the different toppings around the edges. Dressing, carrots, cheese, etc. Not as crazy as others but still, it blew my mind. One customer, two orders. The first would be paid by card, a cheese and ham toasty with a cup of tea. The ham had to be taken out of the toasty and put in a separate bag. And the toasty had to be cut into quarters and delivered to their table. We don't do that. The second part was paid by cash and was a tandoori chicken baguette cut in half. Delivered in two separate bags and a long black with milk and water on the side. Again, we don't do that. Greg's is a tiresome job and customers like that only make it worse. This was made infinitely funnier when you revealed you work in Greg's. I was a cook for years but my favorite was this. A waitress ordered a burger and said the customer wanted it between rare and medium. So I said so they want medium rare. She went no they want it between rare and medium. To which a 2 minute discussion between her, another cook, and myself about the fact medium rare is between rare and medium. I don't waitress, but I do take orders from people who want seafood steamed at my store. I work the seafood counter at a grocery store. Weekends bring the drunks out. They always take about half an hour to figure out what they want and it always ends up being pricey. Last weekend an intoxicated woman riding one of those scooters meant for the disabled took the cake. She had two toddler sized kids in the scooter basket and a friend walking alongside her. She had me weigh out portions of almost everything now our case. She finally settled on you two crab legs. She wanted them seasoned and steamed. She couldn't decide what seasoning so told me to just mix them all and throw it in there. We have Creole, Old Bay, Lemon Pepper and Slap Your Mama. Her ticket came to $99 as these giant crab legs are about $36 LB. She waited around while I prepared her order. When it was done and packaged she stood up from her scooter and wobbled toward me to take her package. She said, Oh, that smell funky. I don't want it no more. And she rode off into the night leaving behind the vapor of cheap whiskey. A medium rare steak with no blood was sent back twice before we gave him a well done steak. He said it was the best steak he ever had in his life. He also didn't tip. It's not even blood it's just myoglobin. My dad's friend orders a Reuben sandwich with white bread not rye, American cheese not Swiss. And for the love of god skip the thousand island dressing and sauerkraut. Basically, he is asking for a grilled cheese. I am a waiter at a retirement community and once an old man asked for testicles. I asked what kind. No response. Told him we don't offer testicles of any kind. He said he wanted testicles. He didn't get testicles. Must be Boyle's grandfather. I think I posted about this years ago but I worked at a TGI Fridays and waited on some insane woman. She told me she wanted the parmesan shrimp steak. This was a popular advertised item at Applebee's at the time. I told her that we don't have that, 
But if she really wants it there's an Applebee's down the street. She asked if we had anything like that. I told her we have steak and we have grilled shrimp skewers. I told her we didn't have any type of cream sauce and the food wouldn't be exactly like Applebee's. She says fine. And orders that. I think everything is fine until the food is brought to her and I kid you not. Her face goes white and she looks at me like I just murdered her firstborn. She starts yelling how it's not a parmesan shrimp steak. That the shrimp were on the side of the plate and not on the steak. She also threw a fit that it was missing the cream sauce. Which I explicitly told her wouldn't be included. And she probably ended up getting the food comped or some crap. Since that's how those corporate chain places operate. She ate the whole thing anyway. You could have walked to Applebee's from her table. So either she was insane or just wanted free food. I saw more people get crazy upset about their $10 plate of garbage chain food than you would ever imagine. TLDR. Woman orders an Applebee's menu item at a TGI Fridays. When it wasn't exactly the same she lost her dang mind. First this lady asked for bottled water I informed her we only have filter tap water. She then asks me some of our ice in a cup heated up in the microwave. I tried to explain it was the exact same water in our ice but she didn't understand the concept. Just weird. Not so convoluted. Had a guy come through my driver throw a few years ago asking for a sweet tea. Cut in half. Usually this means half sweet tea. Half lemonade. He wanted half tea. Half high sea fruit punch. The funny part was that when he got up to the window, he was already leaning out of his window begging me to hear him out. He knows it sounds weird, but apparently he had tried mixing tea with everything else on the menu because lemonade just wasn't good enough and high sea was the only thing that really did it for him. I run own a bakery. We had a cupcake order come in where every one of the dozen cupcakes we made were a different flavor. We don't sell cupcakes individually either and unfortunately for us there's nothing on our website that says we can't do it it was such a pain in the butt i still remember the flavors oreo car bomb neapolitan lemon with cream cheese passion fruit with lemon popper seed with lemon genoise with dark chocolate carrot blue velvet banana with chocolate hazelnut with chocolate and almond with raspberry filling our order form changed that day, making half a dozen the smallest number of cupcakes you could order with one flavor. I get it though. There's a company near me called GG's Cupcakes, and you can order from their daily selection. If I needed a dozen cupcakes, I definitely would get 12 different types to try them all. 12 German guys spread out between 3 tables. Perfectly pleasant, though language a bit of a barrier. They all ordered gammon and chips, cod and chips burger and chips, etc. And a low alcohol lager each. It was a roadside restaurant. So far so good. Then for the next hour or so, they would call me over and order another lager here, another there, a third for this chapter. Like, I think it had something like 0.4% alcohol, and they were trying to make it up to the level of a normal pint. Then having eaten their meals they wanted the same again. Only this time one guy wanted the cod and the other wanted the chips on a separate plate. Ditto the gammon. Then deserts. And about half of them had a second dessert. Then they wanted to pay separately, not split the bill 12 ways. They wanted to pay for exactly what each of them had had. I left the manager with them at the till. Luckily, she spoke German. We had this chicken ragu thing that was pretty good and spicy. Well one day an older woman comes in and order it without the corn, tomato, onion, garlic, any other vegetables, no sauce, and chicken on the side with butter. She got buttery rice and chicken. Like $13 bucks despite the fact I told her she could order a side of both of the same portion for like 8 bucks total. But by god she was dead set on that ragu. It's ones like these that throw me. I'm convinced they just want the thing with the fancy name, not the actual stuff that makes it said dish. Not a waiter but a cook. Just had this one a couple nights ago in the middle of the biggest rush of 2019 thus far. This guy comes in and orders two chicken breasts boiled from raw. We sell our chicken grilled or fried. Six scrambled eggs but not made with our pre-scrambled egg mix. But freshly hand scrambled eggs but of the 6 eggs he wanted all 6 whites but only 2 yolks. 
and 3 pancakes made with 33% buttermilk batter and 66% multigrain batter. Manager won't let us refuse the check and then bitched that it took more than our required 10 minute cook time to boil the chicken. Mind you this is at a Dennis. Not actually Dennis but a regional restaurant with basically the exact same menu. Those must have been the most depressing chicken breasts to ever have been made. I used to work at a nicer close to fine dining but not quite restaurant and I was working the lunch shift one day. I had these two older ladies come in to celebrate one of their birthdays and the non-birthday girl informs me that she's vegan. Totally fine. We had a separate vegan menu printed so it was an easy request to fulfill. The problem was she didn't want to order anything off the vegan menu and instead wanted to customize everything they ordered. They shared a bunch of small things to be vegan. Fine, whatever. So dessert was these little shot glass style things that came in a bunch of different varieties and the vegan one was all fruit. I'm waiting for these ladies to pick their dessert and the vegan orders coffee. And I say black. Right and she responds. No with cream please and then proceeds to pick a chocolate. Cream filled dessert. I must have looked at her funny because she just sort of laughed and said something along the lines of how she wasn't actually vegan and makes exceptions for things like dessert and milk in her coffee. Worked at a burger place in Southern California. Had a guy come in once a week and order a single cooked patty. No seasoning, no cheese, no bread, no sauce, no condiments. The first time he did it, I assumed he had a dog on the patio so I went to check on him. Code for see the dog. And found him making his own burger. Like brought his own sauce, bread, cheese, everything just wanted our patty. It was very, very strange. Could be dietary restrictions. I had to go on a low FODMAP diet recently and a lot of picky orders in this post seem like weird food sensitivities. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.